Today, I am watching Vino Vanitas. Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of 5 Bookish Facts. Today, we are doing a request from Catalyst Reads, so thank you, Michael. And we are doing Stephen Hawking. So obviously Stephen Hawking sadly passed away recently and um, yeah, we're gonna do five facts about him as an author because he wrote a fair few books as you can probably see from my little collection. Let's go. Okay, so Stephen Hawking was born on January the 8th, 1942, and that actually happened to be the 300th anniversary of Galileo's death. As if that wasn't strange enough, the day he died on was actually Einstein's 139th birthday. So Stephen Hawking once lost a bet to fellow scientist Kip Thorne. Basically, they bet on a certain thing pertaining to the existence of black holes, and Hawking got it wrong, so he had to buy Thorne a one-year subscription to Playboy magazine. Okay, fact number three is that as well as writing non-fiction about physics, Hawking also teamed up with his daughter Lucy to write A George's Secret Key to the Universe, which is a children's book. It's basically a story about a young boy called George, and he rebels against his parents' sort of fear of technology. He becomes friends with his neighbours. One of them is basically a mad scientist with a kind of intelligent supercomputer. And uh, yeah, it turns out to be the most powerful computer in the world and can open portals to see and enter other parts of outer space. Fact number four is that in 2007, when he was 65 years old, Hawking got a chance to go into zero gravity and float around outside of his wheelchair thanks to Zero Gravity Core. So basically the service involved this airplane ride up and then a sharp descent, which allows passengers to have a weightless experience for several different rounds, including each one about 25 seconds long. So this was the first time that Hawking had been free of his wheelchair for four decades and he was even able to do gymnastic flips in the zero gravity. And fact number five, when he was at high school here in the UK, he went to St Albans High School and he built a computer with some of his friends and they used uh, an old telephone switchboard, clock parts and other recycled components. They also had a little bit of help from their mathematics teacher, Dick Rantata. So there you go, there was short and sweet but five bookish facts about Stephen Hawking. Obviously he was in The Simpsons and various other TV things as well. But I wanted to kind of share some of the ones that perhaps you guys didn't know about. So yeah, I would highly recommend checking out some of Hawking's books actually. If, you, if you're into uh, science and, and physics and you want to learn more about it. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment if you've got any suggestions for future videos. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this and I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>